pas d'un coup Ah bah la vache. I got you more ambrosia do sir and I hope this is okay. I figured maybe you could use this for the lap. I'm sorry that I flew away last time you brought me something like this, Prince. I mean, Zagreus. It's really strange for me to call you that. I... When I started here... Well, look, if I listened to everything I was told, my life would be a lot different and a lot worse off, I think. So, who cares what... And I enjoy yours, too. It wasn't long ago that I was just a lonely Gorgon head all by myself in the big underworld, looking for steady work. And then I heard about the opening here. I remember when we first met. You were carrying three bowls for Cerberus and bumped right into me. I went flying, but you cleaned up half of it before it hit the ground, and flew away before I got your name. I thought I'd... I was so embarrassed, and worse, I thought I was done for here. But I got another chance. That was your doing, wasn't it? See you, Dusa. Ouais, enfin, trois ans de bras quand même, hein. Mother. Zagreus. Those spices working out all right. I'm much obliged. Sure, why not? Here's the diamonds. I know what must be done regarding chaos and myself, my child. It... Of course, Nix. And... In the administrative chamber, you perhaps recall the Elder Sigil there. Through it, we have access directly to the darkest reaches of... Wait, the Sigil? But I'm not authorized to use it. It's never worked. That you were stripped of your authority is what makes this possible at all. It shall require a significant expenditure of darkness. Then... I'll do everything I can. Hey, maybe you can put in a request with the house contractor for me. Make it official, right? So shall it be. It's done, Mother. Father, the invitations. Personally sent to everyone with... Excellent, Sagrius. Con... Uh. Persephone, how can you be so certain? It's known as trust, Hades. Or faith. They're similar. Try one sometime. It'll be good for you. I this house is not a suitable location for such guests. Dionysus alone shall bring ruin to this place. Or... Yes, good. Now then, we have a lot of work to go around. So why don't we call everyone on staff and let them in on... All right. All right. All right. Thus did all of Olympus journey deep into the underworld, all together for the very first time. The Queen Persephone revealed herself in all her splendor, much to their surprise, and told them everything she indicated to her son. She eloped with Grimlord Hades, she said mothering a fire-stepping prince who sought to reconnect with his extended family. Hades and Persephone at first refused his wish, but so moved were they by his relentless struggles to the surface that at last they decided to heed their will for Zagreus and reach out, for his and everybody's sake. The Olympians listened to all this in stunned silence. Then Zeus himself began to laugh. Welcome back into the family. He said. After the shock subsided, the festivities began. I say, big brother, you and your better half put on a positively smashing night. It's a relief for all of us, knowing Persephone is safe and sound, and mother to as noble of a son as my good nephew there. Well, my little brother, the Queen and I, in turn, appreciate you all taking time out of your doubtless busy lives to come all this distance to my house. I'm certain that it's very modest in comparison to Mount Olympus, but I trust that you were suitably entertained. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course, Hades. Now then, farewell, and let us keep in better touch from here. Hmm. Farewell indeed, Lord Zeus. When 
when finally the great feast ended, all the Olympians returned to their mountain abode, fully satisfied. As for the House of Hades, it required thorough cleansing, from the rafters to the floor. Such revelry, of course, is unbecoming of the name of Hades, and the fearsome reputation of the underworld. For if mortals were to have no fear of death, then they would have no fear of anything at all. A well-kept family secret, then, this would live on to be. I'd say that went about as well as could have been expected. And the cleanup wasn't all that bad, for the most part. Well, fortunate Uncle Zeus seemed to catch on right away and went along with it. But this whole elaborate tale you spun, I remember how hurt I felt when I found out Father lied to me about you. Now we're lying to Olympus. What if they find out? Zagreus, I may not be an expert, but here's what I've come to understand about how families work. At least our own. The thing is, how we speak to one another is even more important than the words we use. I think, deep down, everyone in our family knows this. You're saying they all knew you weren't being perfectly honest and went along with it anyway. I guess the pomegranate thing in particular was a bit of a stretch. The common ground in our family is that we want peace. Besides Ares, though even he would rather the conflict occur elsewhere. That elaborate tale, it's less a deception and more a concession. A way of saying, let's move on from the... You don't have hard feelings. What about father? What about Demeter? Well, let's see. My hard feelings are nothing next to the joy of having my son in my life. Your father never imagined his relationship with me could be out in the... And Uncle Zeus is glad things didn't turn out worse for him. I get the sense he acts a bit impulsively at times and deals with the consequences later. What can I tell you, Zagreus? We're family. You've said it yourself to me before. We're stuck with them. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thanks, Mother. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Morpheus got on the board. the sigil. Nyx needs it upgraded, huh? What a joke. No. Severus, not to get all sentimental on you, but... Oh, who am I kidding? The bond between a hound and its master is as hard as I... You're the best boy in the whole world. Even if heads beta and gamma don't much care for pets, do they? I've got more... We're all very proud of you, boy. You were so well behaved at the feast. I was worried sick one uncle or the other was going to set you up at some point, but you were patience incarnate. How infernal Severus, the hound of hell, Managed to come forth. Hey, Orpheus, mate. I have something good for you right here. Ah, but this is splendid, Zagreus. And I must say, apart from my Eurydice, Go on. you're too kind. So, I'm quite confused, I must admit, my friend. The Queen Persephone. Well, um, it all started when my father saw her on Olympus, and they fell madly in love. But surely the Queen's mother on Olympus, the great goddess Demeter? Oh, that. Thing is, Mother ate some pomegranate seeds when she was here. And we have rules about that stuff, you know. It means she cannot leave this place for very long at all. I'm sure Demeter will understand. And unfreeze everything when... Ah, yes, pomegranate seeds, of course, of course. Though, there is one more subject I don't... Forget about me, Orpheus. This isn't about me, it's about Mother. What's important... I see. I understand. Well, thank you, then, for clear. Same goes for me, mate. Um, Same goes for me. Need more?
more of those, so here. Your diamonds. Who is next? <laughs> 